then uh, finally coming on to commissioning. Uh, commissioning is quite complex for data centers and there's a five level system. Some of you might have seen this before. Some people go by level one, two, three, four, five, or some go red tag to white tag. Uh, the first two levels are generally pretty straightforward and not too much time is put to them, but level three to five can become quite complex. Level three is essentially making sure each system runs in, in um, kind of by itself, it's doing what it should, uh, sensors are reading what they should, uh, things like that, uh, energization, so they want to set up one transformer first to make sure everything else can be energized. Blue tag um, starts to become quite complex where they do heat load testing, and this is essentially where they'll bring a load of heaters to a data floor and try and replicate the power load they'd expect from a server to see if the cooling system is handling it properly in different situations. This chart on the bottom left is actually from a project we were working on where the uh, developer had to look at how much power they were using each day to make sure they had enough supply to run their level four testing. And so they had to schedule it not just on time or resources, but actually on the power that was available to site. Otherwise they just wouldn't be able to carry out the testing. And level five looks at the system as a whole and they start introducing failure scenarios and seeing how it acts and then tuning it to kind of deal with those issues. Commissioning and program impact, uh, starting level three will require power and water. So if you, the problems some of the uh, contractors face is if you have to have one transformer up and running to then energize all the other equipment, but you've only got one kind of transformer switch room, uh, issues like your m and &E AP will say you're not allowed to access that room while the transformer's running, which really kind of puts a lot of the job in jeopardy. So you really have to plan how you're gonna start uh, commissioning these transformers and people working around them. Do they need separate rooms? Do they? Does it need to be planned much further in advance? Can we put it later? Uh, and a similar thing for water. All pipe work must be flush before any of the commissioning can start, but that's a two week process and you'd also need power for that. So it can sometimes be a bit of a chicken and egg situation and it really has to be sequenced properly. Um, level four and five essentially require complete building. There's very few testing scripts that let you still do work in the building while level four and five are being carried out which is why this is such an important part. Because if you think you're rushing to finish the building, you've still got a good four or five weeks of testing before you can hand over the building. So as I mentioned, level four and five heat load testing uh, replicates full server load. Uh, the requirements we found are actually not clear at tender stage. So a lot of the um, kind of main contractors and, M and um, subcontractors will just go on previous experience and often not, re not find out until a few months into the project what the test script from the main developer is. And this can cause lots of problems with programming later and claims and things like that. Um, when looking at this with phasing, you'll find that level four phasing will typically re be repeated. So they'll want to test all the new cooling systems that are installed later in the generators, but they won't want to check level five because level five typically means carrying out failure scenarios where you need to use the UPS. And if you've got tenants in there, the tenants may be reluctant for you to trial your UPS while they're actually occupying the data center and using it. Um, so we found that quite interesting. Uh, so again, this will come up in a, in a test script, but it's often not introduced until much later on in the process. All right, and hopefully that was a, a quick kind of holistic overview of some of the uh, services and concepts you'd like to come into a data center. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to take them now. Thank you.